Hello everyone. For the three people who end up watching this video, I welcome you. This is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast. And this is my review of When Marnie Was There, a Japanese anime film from 2015 that was just recently nominated for Best Animated Feature at the 88th Academy Awards. So what is this movie about? Upon being sent to live with relatives in the countryside, an emotionally distant adolescent girl becomes obsessed with an abandoned mansion and infatuated with a girl who lives there, a girl who may or may not be real. Now the protagonist here is a tomboyish teenager who has a dysfunctional relationship with her foster parents. Now the problem in the conflict seems to be driven by a lack of communication by both sides, which is a very realistic problem in real life, right? Um, technically speaking, the animation and music here are very impressive, which is no surprise given the fact that it's a Studio Ghibli film. However, I must say that during the opening 20 or so minutes, I had a little bit of difficulty getting into this movie and connecting with the characters. This isn't one of those anime films that is immediately warm and inviting right from the start but it certainly did grow on me significantly as it progressed. It moves slowly during the opening stages, but the characters are developed very well, and the second half has some very interesting storytelling and character interaction to enjoy. There's a mystery element here that works nicely and provides the greatest dramatic impact when the answers are finally revealed near the end. So this film is one of those that sneaks up on you. You know, it, it really builds itself up in a proficient manner. Um, so much so, in fact, that I would say that When Marnie Was There is one of the more emotionally resonant anime films in recent memory. So, you know, I don't want to get too in-depth onto this review just because there's some surprises here, and I really think the film, like when I watched it, I didn't really know what it was about. So... I think it kind of benefits the experience because it, it has a nice depth to it and the story does get more interesting as it progresses. So if you're a fan of more laid back anime films, I definitely recommend this. It's widely available on DVD and Blu-ray. So feel free to check it out, you know, before the awards go down in less than a month now. And, uh, you know, just rank it among your other animated films and see if the one you like the best ends up winning. Now, in terms of the Academy Awards itself, I could not find a list of Japan's previous submissions for Best Animated Feature, but I did find a list of Academy Award winners and nominees, which is very easy to find. Now, this particular award, Best Animated Feature, did not exist until 2001. So, there have only been 14 winners as of the date of this video. Now, the only Japanese anime film to be nominated for, during the first 12 years of this award's existence was Spirited Away in 2002, which won the award. But that's still quite surprising, considering that between 2002 and 2012, Japan released anime films such as Paprika, Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence, Wolf Children, A Letter to Momo, Summer Wars, Mind Game, From Up on Poppy Hill, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Howl's Moving Castle, and Redline, just to name a few. So you'd think that at least one of those movies would get a nomination, right? But, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something? I don't know. But thankfully, we've now had a Japanese anime film nominated three years in a row. The Wind Rises, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and when Marnie was there. But it would be nice to see Japan actually win a Best Animated Feature once every 13 years, because they probably deserve it. But we'll have to see what happens. So those are my brief thoughts on when Marnie was there. I definitely recommend it. And as always, we'll see you next time.